Buddha's birthday. Buddha's birthday is a holiday traditionally celebrated in Mahayana Buddhism. To commemorate the birth of the Prince Siddhartha Gautama, later the Gautama Buddha, and founder of Buddhism, according to the Theravada Tripitaka scriptures. Gautama was born in Lumbini in modern-day Nepal, around the year 563 BCE, and raised in Kapilavastu. According to this legend, shortly after the birth of the young prince Gautama, an astrologer named Asita visited the young prince's father, King Uddhodana, and prophesied that Siddhartha would either become a great king or renounce the material world to become a holy man, depending on whether he saw what life was like outside the palace walls. Uddhodana was determined to see his son become a king, so he prevented him from leaving the palace grounds. But at age 29, Despite his father's efforts, Gautama ventured beyond the palace several times. In a series of encounters, known in Buddhist literature as the Four Sights, he learned of the suffering of ordinary people, encountering an old man, a sick man, a corpse, and, finally, an ascetic holy man, apparently content and at peace with the world. These experiences prompted Gautama to abandon royal life and take up a spiritual quest. Date The exact date of Buddha's birthday is based on the Asian lunisolar calendars, and is primarily celebrated in Baisak month of the Buddhist calendar, and the Bikram Sambat Hindu calendar, and hence it is also called Visak in Nepal the birth country of Buddha. It is celebrated on the full moon day of the Vaisaka month of the Buddhist calendar. In Theravada countries following the Buddhist calendar, it falls on a full moon a Pasada day, typically in the fifth or sixth lunar month. In China and Korea, it is celebrated on the eighth day of the fourth month in the Chinese lunar calendar. The date varies from year to year in the Western Gregorian calendar, but usually falls in April or May. In leap years it may be celebrated in June. In Tibet, it falls on the seventh day of the fourth month of the Tibetan calendar. South and Southeast Asia In South Asian and Southeast Asian countries, Buddha's birthday is celebrated on the full moon day of the Vaisakha month of the Buddhist calendar, and the Hindu calendar, which usually falls in April, or May month of the Western Gregorian calendar. The festival is known as Buddha Purnima. As Purnima means full moon day in Sanskrit, it is also called as Buddha Jayanti, with Jayanti meaning birthday in Sanskrit language. The corresponding Western Gregorian calendar dates varies from year to year 2014, May 14, 2015, May 4, 2016, May 21, 2017, May 10, 2018, May 29. Taiwan In 1999, the Taiwanese government set Buddha's birthday as the second Sunday of May the same date as Mother's Day. Japan As a result of the Meiji Restoration, Japan adopted the Gregorian calendar in lieu of the Chinese lunar calendar in 1873. Therefore, in most Japanese temples, Buddha's birth is celebrated on the Gregorian calendar date April 8. Only a few celebrate it on the Orthodox Chinese calendar date of the eighth day of the fourth lunisolar month. Cambodia In Cambodia, Buddha's birthday known as Vizak Bocher is a public holiday, and monks around the country carry flags, lotus flowers, incense and candles to acknowledge Vizak. People also take part in alms giving to the monks. China In China, celebrations often occur in Buddhist temples where people light incense and bring food offerings for the monks. 
In Hong Kong, Buddha's birthday is a public holiday. Lanterns are lit to symbolize the Buddha's enlightenment and many people visit the temple to pay their respects. The bathing of the Buddha is a major feature of Buddha's birthday celebrations in the city. India Buddha Purnima a Buddha Jayanthi in South India a Tathagata is a public holiday in India. It is celebrated especially in Sikkim, Ladik, Arunachal Pradesh, Bodh Gaya. Various parts of North Bengal such as Kalimpong, Darjeeling, and Kursiong, and Maharashtra, and other parts of India as per Indian calendar. Buddhists go to common viharas to observe a rather longer than usual full-length Buddhist sutra akin to a service. The dress code is pure white. Non-vegetarian food is normally avoided. Ke, a sweet rice porridge is commonly served to recall the story of Sajata, a maiden who, in Gautama Buddha's life, offered the Buddha a bowl of milk porridge. Informally called Buddha's birthday, it actually commemorates the birth, enlightenment, and death of Gautama Buddha in the Theravada tradition. Tibetans in exile remember Buddha's birthday on the seventh day of the Saga Dawa month, which culminates with Buddha's Paranirvana celebrations on the full moon day. Buddha under a tree. Indonesia In Indonesia, Buddha's birthday known as Waisak is a public holiday. A large procession beginning in Mendut in Java ends at Borobudur, the largest Buddhist temple in the world. Japan Shaka at birth at Tadeji in Japan, Buddha's birthday is known as Kanbitsui or Hanamatsuri, and is held on April 8. Buddha's birth is also celebrated according to the Buddhist calendar, but is not a national holiday. On this day, all temples hold, or the first event was held at Asuka Dera in 606. Japanese people pour armachar on small Buddha statues decorated with flowers, as if bathing a newborn baby. Korea In Korea, the birthday of Buddha is celebrated according to the lunisolar calendar. This day is called, meaning, Buddha's birthday or meaning, the day when the Buddha came. Lotus lanterns cover the entire temple throughout the month which are often flooded down the street. On the day of Buddha's birth, many temples provide free meals and tea to all visitors. The breakfast and lunch provided are often sanchi bibimbap. Malaysia in Malaysia, Buddha's birthday known as Wisak Day is a public holiday, and is celebrated by the sizable minority Buddhist population in the country. Temples across the country are decorated and caged animals are set free. People engage in prayers, chanting and giving across the country. Myanmar in Myanmar, Buddha's birthday known as Full Moon of Kassan is a public holiday. It is celebrated by watering the body tree and chanting. In large pagodas music and dance is also performed as part of the celebrations. Nepal In Nepal, the birthplace of Buddha, his birthday is celebrated on the full moon day of May. The festival is known by various names, Buddha Jayanti, Buddha Purnima, Vaishik Purnima, Saga Dawa, and Vasak. Purnima means full moon day in Sanskrit. Among the Nuas of Nepal, especially from the Shakya clan of Nuas, it is of great importance, because they consider it as a continuation of the sage of the Akyas, the clan that Lord Buddha's family belonged to. Thus, they celebrate the festival which is in their language known as Swaini Apunhi, the full moon day of flowers. The day marks not just the birth of Shakyamuni Gautam Buddha, but also the day of his enlightenment and Mahaparinirvana. 
The event is celebrated by gentle and serene fervor, keeping in mind the very nature of Buddhism. People, especially women, go to common viharas to observe a rather longer than usual full-length Buddhist sutra as something like a service. The usual dress is pure white. Non-vegetarian food is normally avoided. Kia, a sweet rice porridge is commonly served. To recall the story of Sajata, a maiden who, in Gautama Buddha's life, offered the Buddha a bowl of milk porridge after he had given up the path of asceticism following six years of extreme austerity. This event was one major link in his enlightenment. It is said that the Buddha originally followed the way of asceticism to attain enlightenment sooner, as was thought by many at that time. He sat for a prolonged time with inadequate food and water, which caused his body to shrivel so as to be indistinguishable from the bark of the tree that he was sitting under. Seeing the weak Siddhartha Gautama, a girl named Sajata placed a bowl of milk in front of him as an offering. Realizing that without food one can do nothing, the Buddha refrained from harming his own body. Philippines Around 2% of the population in the Philippines is Buddhist. Buddha's birthday known locally as Arrowing Bisyak is not a public holiday, but is celebrated by the small community of Buddhists in the country. The bathing of the Buddha statue is a significant part of the celebrations in the country. Singapore in Singapore, Buddha's birthday known as Visak Visak Day is a public holiday in the country. Buddhist temples hold celebrations and are decorated with Buddhist flags and flowers. Devotees also bring offerings to the temples. Sri Lanka In Sri Lanka, Buddha's birthday known as Visak is a public holiday and is celebrated on the first full moon day of the month of May. People engage in religious observances and decorate houses and streets with candles and paper lanterns as well as bamboo-framed lanterns. Dance alas is practiced and refers to the free offering of food and drink to people. Baked e.g., devotional songs are sung, and pandals which are decorative gateways are erected throughout the country. Temples around the country also hold celebrations and devotees bring offerings and burn incense. Electric light displays that depict stories from the Buddha's life are also a notable part of Visak. Celebrations in the country Taiwan In Taiwan, Buddha's birthday is a public holiday. Devotees pour fragrant water over Buddha statues to symbolize the beginning of a fresh start in life. Thailand In Thailand, Buddha's birthday known as Vaisakha Puja is a public holiday. People gather at temples to hear sermons, give donations and chant prayers. Vietnam Buddha's birthday is celebrated throughout Vietnam. Many Buddhist temples hold celebrations that attract people from around the country, and pagodas around the country are decorated. From 1958 to 1975, El Fatlan, the birthday of Buddha was recognized as a national public holiday in South Vietnam enjoyed with float and lantern parade on the streets. Australia In Sydney, Buddha's birthday is celebrated at the Nen Tien Temple in Wollongong, Australia. And another celebration also organized by Nen Tien Temple is held at Darling Harbour which features Buddha's birthday ceremony, a variety of vegetarian food and culture stalls and multicultural performances from China, Japan, Vietnam, Korea, India, Malaysia, Sri Lanka, Australia and other cultures.
Other temples in the Foguang Shan Nantian Temple Group in Australia on the eighth day of the fourth month of the China Lunar Calendar also hold celebrations. In Brisbane, Buddha Birthday Festival is held annually and features a variety of Pan-Asian food and performances from multicultural acts. It is a weekend-long festival which draws over 200,000 visitors. In Melbourne, the weekend-long festival called Buddha's Day and Multicultural Festival is held at Federation Square around April, May. In Perth, a two-day celebration also known as Buddha's Day and Multicultural Festival is held at Langley Park. Local Buddhist temples and smaller towns around the country such as Bendigo, Victoria also hold celebrations. On the Australian external territory of Christmas Island, Buddha's birthday known as Vasak Day on the island is celebrated alongside many other celebrations common in Australia and Malaysia as well as local celebrations of the island. Canada In Toronto, three Buddhist temples representing the three main branches of Buddhism organize an annual event known as Vasak, Buddha's birthday. It is held at Mississauga Celebration Square and features a number of Buddhist-themed events and activities as well as cultural acts from Asia, including China, Sri Lanka and Vietnam. United States of America Celebration of Buddha's birthday in the United States differ from community to community. Depending on ethnicity and nationality, the Japanese celebration on 8 April has been significant in the Bay Area for some decades. In 1968 the first circumambulation of Mount Tamalpay to celebrate Buddha's birthday was conducted, starting in 1969 at Tasahara Zen Mountain Center. Hanamatsuri was celebrated each spring. Dressed in formal black robes, the roughly 70 monks and students formed a formal procession to the horse pasture with the leader periodically ringing a small, clear bell. A temporary stone altar was built under a huge oak tree in a gorgeous field of green grass and abundant wildflowers. A small statue of a baby Buddha was placed upon it in a metal basin. Then each person would in turn approach the altar. Ladle one thin lipped bamboo dipper full of sweet green tea over the statue, bow, and walk to one side. In New York, the International Lotus Lantern Parade has been a notable and successful annual event held at Union Square Park. The event celebrates the Buddha's birthday and Yun Deng Ho, a Korean lantern celebration that is held during Visak. The festival features a number of Buddhist-themed events, and is started off by numerous Buddhist centers of Japanese, Korean, and Sri Lankan origins, for example. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.